we want to find the values of sine alpha and cosine alpha if alpha is an angle in standard position whose terminal side passes through minus 2 minus 4. Now, do you have to draw a picture? No, because we have formulas that we can use. Do you, if you want to draw a picture, please make sure that you do that. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I know that my formulas for sine of alpha equals y over r and that for cosine of alpha it's going to be x over r. Well I have a point here that is x and y. So what am I missing? I'm missing r. If you recall r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. So when I do that I'm going to take 2 squared which is 4 plus 4 squared is 16 which is going to give me the square root of 20 which we can simplify is 2 is 4 times 5 which is 2 square root of 5. So there we go we found r. Well I know y and I know x so I just plug in. So I'm going to get minus 4 over 2 square root of 5 and down here I'm going to get minus 2 and over the 2 square root of 5. Now remember, you can't have a radical in the denominator. You're going to have to rationalize these. So what does it mean? That's a fancy word for saying I need to multiply the top and the bottom by the radical. And I'm going to do that to each one of these. Also on the top I'm going to have minus 4 square root of 5 over 2 times 5. And down here I'm going to have minus 2 square root of 5 over 2 times 5. So what do I get on top? Well on top I'm going to get minus 2 square root of 5 over 5 and down here I'm going to get minus the square root of 5 over 5. So these are going to be your final answers for this equation.